Hello. I got this video idea from Kennedy Walsh, one of my best friends. Um, she did this video where she basically just changed her whole entire appearance and just kind of made herself look different. I thought it would be really fun. I'm also gonna be honest with you guys, this is my second time filming this video, so I already know the look that I'm gonna do. The reason why I'm filming this twice is because the first time, I spent like a solid two hours trying to put in contacts. I've never put in colored contacts before and I just could not figure it out until Kennedy finally helped me figure out how to do it because she wears contacts. Thanks girl. So then by the time I got my contacts in, my eyes were so irritated from trying to put them in for so long because I was like holding them, holding them open for two hours. So... I'm gonna try this again. When I was doing my makeup, my eyes were so irritated and I got like horrible footage and I just like wanted to end the video so fast because my eyes were so irritated and hurt so bad. Anyways, I'm gonna start off by putting in my contacts again. Hopefully it will take me five tries max because if not, we're in some trouble. I'm basically gonna try and make myself look just as different as possible. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my contacts. So I'm gonna wash my hands and put those in. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Those were not glued in properly, Aspen. One done. <laughs> oh my god, I look like an alien. This is a much better experience from yesterday. Like, this eye was burning, like, the whole entire time. I need a minute. <laughs> I look so like, I don't know, just, I look so different with brown eyes. The reason I chose brown is because my eyes, like, not to be one of those people that say they like change colors, but just depending on like what I wear, they can either look uh, really green or more blue green. So I didn't want to do blue. I already have green eyes and then, I don't know, I really like brown eyes. I know people with brown eyes don't always love their brown eyes because they're boring, but Brown eyes are some of my favorite eyes, and I'm not just talking about the ones that like are like honey golden brown in the sun. I mean all brown eyes, like even dark brown eyes I think are so pretty. I also just felt like it would make me look the most different. These contacts were also surprisingly cheap, so if I like get pink eye or something, I'm not gonna be surprised. So I'm just starting off with moisturizer and primer, um, just using what I always use. Oh my god, I literally, I just like, I feel like I look like an alien. Like, I just can't stop looking at myself because I just... <laughs> Yesterday when I filmed this also, my little brother had friends over and oh my god. 13 year old boys are probably the most annoying people on the planet. They're just so loud and extra for no reason. Which I mean, so am I, but... So since I'm trying to just look different, um, I'm gonna use like a full coverage. Is this full coverage? I don't know. I'm using an actual foundation. Usually I just use like my Glossier Skin Tint. But today, since I'm just trying something different, I wanted to do like a full coverage look. I'm also doing a few things different than I did last time just because um, once I was done, I had some things I wanted to change, but I couldn't because my eyes were literally gonna fall out. I'm just trying to be fast with my base because this isn't really, like, you can't really do too, I mean, unless you're, like, a makeup artist and can completely, like, change people's features, but I'm not trying to do that. So I posted my first TikTok dance because I thought um, it would be fun. It took me forever to learn because I have a horrible memory. Thank you, depression. And I really liked the dance and for some reason I'm like really insecure about my dancing. My cheer coach in like 2015 gave me an award for best dancing and I just knew she was lying to me. Like she just like ran out of awards and didn't have anything else to give me because there's no way I got best dancer. But for some reason I was really insecure about dancing even though like literally no one gives a f and it's just fun and it really does not matter. So I was trying to prove myself that I can, not even that I can dance, but that I can like get over stupid insecurities like that. There's a part in the dance where you throw it back, which basically means you stick your ass out. And I didn't do that because I didn't know how. So then I posted it, whatever. 
And then I learned how to do it, like, shortly after. So I was like, hey, let me redo this dance and post it, see which one gets more likes. I see a lot of experiments on TikTok um, with me throwing a bag versus me not throwing a bag. And tell me why TikTok took my video down when I'm wearing the exact same thing, doing the exact same dance. The only difference is that I threw a bag. <laughs> TikTok knows I'm not a good dancer either. That's probably why. But yeah, within 30 minutes, I went to go check and it was gone. I'm gonna use a powder blush, which I almost never do because I just, I don't know. I like the blush that I do have. I don't have that many blushes. I'm just using the one for my sister's palette, which is kind of dark, but um, I don't know. Since I don't usually wear it, it will be something that's like a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to contour my nose. Anyways, if you guys wanna go follow me on TikTok, you can. Another thing I wanted to talk about is my room transformation video. If you can tell, my room is very different. I changed literally my whole entire room. I am obviously making a video on it because I don't know, I wanted to. But it's not quite done yet. I still have a few little things that I need for it, but I don't really want to be going out right now. With everything going on, I think the best thing to do is stay inside and try and stay as safe as you can. So I haven't really been going out much. Um, I just need like a couple little things to finish it off because I don't want to show it when it's not completely done because that just like defeats the whole entire purpose. So because the, did I already say I have a wig? I'm literally losing my mind. I have a wig that's darker so I am going to darken up my eyebrows a little bit because I didn't really realize how light they look and like how unnatural they look because they are so light. Now for the difficult part. I am going to do eyeliner. Oh my god, does it look bad? I want to add fake lashes. My problem is that I suck at fake eyelashes and when I used to have to wear fake eyelashes for cheer, it literally felt like doing surgery. My mom would have to like lay me down and spend like a very long time. One eye is so much thicker than the other one, but it might just have to do. Here's what we're looking. Here's what we're looking like so far. One of my final steps for makeup, fake eyelashes. Hi. Um, I love the fact that my camera ran out of space and my monitor didn't tell me, so I had no idea. The only thing that's really changed is that I put on my eyelashes and my lip color and now I'm going to get changed. I know I need to fix my lashes, but I'm waiting until the uh, glue dries all the way, so I'm going to get dressed. I'm gonna see what kind of outfits I can come up with. I'm gonna try and be creative because the style that I'm going for, I don't really dress that way. I'm gonna see what I can get out of my closet. I came up with something, but before I even show you guys, I want to do a couple accessories. I don't have a necklace that matches this. I wish I did. The one chain necklace I had, I lost, and I don't know where it went, but I'm gonna put in some earrings. Oh, is anyone else excited for Animal Crossing to come out? By the time you guys are watching this, I will be playing Animal Crossing because it will be out if I can actually go to a store and get one. Has anyone else noticed the GameStops are always in the parking lot of like a Walmart or a Target? Next, a nose ring. I'm gonna put this on my good side. For the final thing, a wig. I think this is what's going to make the biggest difference. I have never had dark hair before. So I got a wig with bangs because I feel like they're easier to work with, but I'm probably just gonna put a beanie on top just to make sure that it actually looks natural. I had a few wigs growing up. Like I had like a Hannah Montana wig, which literally just looked like my natural hair. They were both very stringy and ugly. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to throw a beanie on this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. This is it. I don't have anything else. What do y'all think? Dressing up not like yourself is like, it's not something that people do all the time, but I think people should. Like, it's literally just so fun. Other than me wanting to like gouge my eyes out because they hurt so bad, this is like been a really good experience. I feel like this isn't quite my alter ego. I don't even know what my alter ego would be because I like don't even really know what my personality is. What would my alter ego be? Is this my alter ego? I don't think it is. I literally, I just can't stop looking at myself because I'm still shook. 
I do look a little bit different from yesterday. Um, it's pretty similar. The only thing that's different are the lashes. I did a little bit more liner and my outfit's a little bit different, but I did FaceTime some people and just get their reaction and see what they thought. So I will obviously insert those clips. I walked into my parents' room and they had no idea what I was doing either. So um, here's that footage. Next, I'm gonna call Aspen. I need it like, it's too bright. Do I? What do you think? No, it is. It's not a wig. Do I? I should do this. Can I borrow that wig? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do not look like yourself at all. You should have got like blue contacts. What do you think? Rated out of ten for my vid. Um, like a ten. For a second, I literally was like, who is that? Yeah, I mean that's. Did I tell you what video I'm doing? Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just doing how different can I make myself look. Okay, well I'm gonna call other people. So okay. bye. Are you recording? Yeah. Ten out of ten. Okay, see ya. <laughs> bye. Okay. I'm gonna face on my cousin. She has no idea I'm doing this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, who are you? What do you think? Wait, why does she say I like it? Yeah? Do I look different? I'm doing a video that's like, how much can I change my appearance? This is my result. Wait, I like it. Wait, no, I actually really like it. Like, I'm here for it. How different do you think I look on a scale oh of 1 to 10? Maybe like a 5. Bye, I love you. Yeah. I love you, bye. What you think? It's a little much for me. <laughs> Do I look different though? Yeah. Because that was my whole goal. I don't know. What should my name be? I feel like a funny video would be if I like try and catfish people on like Tinder or something, like looking like this, but then I don't really know what the point would be. <laughs> I don't know. I guess just it's funny that this is like not a real person. I think that's all for this video. I'm going to try and make some TikTok content because I think it's funny. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Honestly, I think I look pretty cute. I can't lie. If I had like some stuff from Doll's Kill, that would really just like put everything together. My eyes are starting to get irritated though. So I'm going to end this video. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is really random, but I hope you um, had fun watching me. Peace out. Mwah. Goodbye.